According to the core logic results out today, Australian housing values have not seen any evidence of a decline in April, despite a sharp drop in market activity and a severe weakening in consumer sentiment, with Perth, Adelaide and Darwin all up from their six monthly averages. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series, where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Although most regions recorded a rise in home values through April, the national monthly pace of growth more than halved, dropping in March to 0.3%. The April result was the smallest month-on-month -month movement since June last year, when the national index was down 0.2%. CoreLogic Head of Research Tim Lawless said, although housing values were generally slightly positive over the month, the trend has clearly weakened since mid to late March when social distancing policies were implemented and consumer sentiment started to plummet. The capital city markets generally showed a weaker performance relative to the re regional markets, with the combined capital cities index up 0.2% in April compared with a half a percent rise across the combined regional markets. The sharpest reversal in growth conditions can be seen in Melbourne, where values nudged into negative territory through April and it was down 0.3%. Sydney values remained positive, rising 0.4% over the month. Now, according to Mr. Lawless, Australia's largest cities have a higher level of downside risk. So he said Sydney and Melbourne arguably show a higher risk profile relative to other markets due to their large exposure to overseas migration as a source of housing demand. Along with greater exposure to the downturn in foreign students, stretched housing affordability and an already low rental yields, which are likely to reduce further on the back of rising vacancy rates and lower rents. Hobart was the only other major region to record a decline in home values over the month, down 0.1%. Mr Lawless said Hobart has the most exposure of any capital cities, at least proportionally, to the industry sectors most heavily impacted by COVID-19 in terms of employment, with almost 13% of the workforce employed within accommodation and food services and arts and recreation service sectors. Despite the weakening in the housing market conditions, some cities have outperformed their six-month uh, average pace of growth. Uh, Perth, Adelaide and Darwin outperformed their six-month average pace of growth in April, demonstrating some resilience to weakened conditions. Well guys, that's it from me today. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video and also remember to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now also, if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, uh, there's just a Just Ask Tim video series will be coming up next week, so there's a link in the post to do that. Also, stay tuned later in the week for The Why, The Week in Real Estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. See ya.